hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a little stocking villa stocking villa stocking filler challenge um or i say challenge it's not really a challenge no one else wants to be in my videos so it's not really a challenge is it but i challenged myself because honestly buying for boys is a challenge in itself like i should get an award for just finding stuff okay so i've got a little stocking to be honest they didn't have a great choice of stockings in bnm like i've not managed to fit much of the stuff in here you can literally see some of the stuff okay like let's just ignore that okay we'll get to it obviously you know there's going to be a link set in there okay that was no big you know it's a no-brainer so yeah i couldn't fit everything in here so you probably have to get a better stocking if you were going to actually give. i mean i probably will actually give this to my brother to be fair um but yeah maybe look for a bit of a bigger stocking i definitely should have got a bigger stocking um but it's really cute actually it has his initial on it this stuff is kind of stuff that i could gift to boyfriend or brother so my brother's a teenager boyfriend early 20s but a lot of the stuff would work for either so yeah i feel like a lot of people can use this for inspiration um this was b&m i think i said that and everything comes to less than 30 pounds so yeah i feel like this could give people some good inspiration because honestly men are so hard to buy for right let's let's get it out of the way let's start with it obviously you know you've got to get a link set this is the Lynx sport one as well recharge so i feel like if you're like me and your boyfriend and brother like going to the gym this is a really good one to have just chucked in your gym bag because i'm not being funny but would, would you want to use an expensive like aftershave or expensive shower gel at the gym no like i guarantee you in the boys change rooms in the gym i guarantee you it smells of links like i feel like links is the kind of present that guys complain about getting but if they don't get it one year I guarantee they'll moan about it because honestly, it's just a classic. You, it's got to be done and it's so cheap. This was £2.50 for the set. So you get in, you get the um, shower gel in and then the, what is it? Just aftershave, body, deodorant body spray. So for £2.50, that is a really, really good one. And, and do you know what? I thought I'd push the boat out. I won't go for Lynx Africa. I'll be a bit different. So I got this one, which is a Lynx Recharge, which as it says is crushed mint and rosemary scent. I don't know if it's going to smell good, but do you know what? I thought... I'm going to be ripped into for getting a link set. I might as well, you know, try and save myself a bit by getting a non Lynx Africa set. Not that it should even matter because you get what you're given. Do you know what I mean? Like, they should be grateful for that. Like, why do boys moan so much about getting a link set? Honestly, if I get a set like that, I'm buzzing. I'm literally buzzing for it. But anyway, kind of leading on with body stuff, I picked up these. These were actually the only thing that wasn't from B&M. It was from TK Maxx next door, but you could definitely, definitely get these from B&M. So let's just... Let's just pretend they are from B&M because I'm pretty sure I saw some in B&M anyway. So these are basically bar salts. They're like more like manly ones, you know, um, and they actually form muscles. So it says like um, workout kind of thing. Like if you again, if your partner or brother or dad, whoever you're buying this for, goes to the gym, this is really, really good. They're honestly a lifesaver. I use these myself as well sometimes when I just ache like on my period and stuff. You best believe these are going in the bath. So, yeah, I picked up these. I probably will give these to my boyfriend rather than my brother because like he goes to the gym more but yeah that's a really really good little stocking filler and these ones are 4 99 but i'm sure they probably would have been a bit cheaper in b&m so yeah i feel like this is a great present for a boy and it's something they wouldn't really think to go and buy themselves so yeah a great stocking filler and then would it really be a stocking if you don't get one of these bad boys in there because it's not christmas without these do you know what i mean like if i don't get one of these for christmas i'm gonna be a little bit upset i'm not gonna lie but uh, yeah, it's just a little classic Cadbury set. I think this was 89p. So again, such a good like stocking filler because it really bulks it out, but it's only 89p. So you barely use any of your budget, but it bulks it out. So yeah, and who doesn't love chocolate? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so another good stocking filler, which with B&M you're limited a bit, is like a nice aftershave. Obviously B&M don't do the nicest ones. They tend to do things like David Beckham kind of stuff. But I actually found this one, which is Umbro. Um... I've only really heard of Umbro for like socks and stuff, but I saw this one, it was 4 99 And again, I thought for like after gym, kind of to have like chucked in your gym bag, you don't really want like a nice expensive one. So this would be really, really good for that. And again, such a small amount of your budget um, and bulks up. And who doesn't, you know, who doesn't like aftershave? Like I said, it doesn't have to be like a nice going out one, but just one to have for your gym bag. Do you know what I mean? What's not to love? So yeah, I got that one and it's the scent ice it says it says it's new i don't know i haven't seen it before but yeah just thought that was a good little stocking filler right 
I'm now moving on to the stuff that's actually in the stocking. So this actually leads on to Umbro. So I also saw these in B&M and they're actually Umbro socks. And you get five pairs in here for five pounds, which I actually think is really, really good because they're quite good quality socks. And that's another thing that like, I've always bought my dad or my boyfriend or whatever socks because I feel like men appreciate good quality socks, like probably more than women do. Like I don't really... I'm not, I don't get excited by, I'm not saying guys get excited by socks, but do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they can appreciate a nice sock. Whereas me, I'll just run to Primark and get the cheapest pair I can find. Do you know what I mean? Whereas men, I feel like they want quality stuff. Honestly, I think men, in terms of fashion and stuff, are actually more, like, snobby than girls. Are. Like, I would happily, I don't care where I buy from as long as it's nice and I can afford it. Do you know what I mean? Whereas guys, I feel like they want expensive stuff. Like, the brands my brother is into compared to the brands I was into at his age, like, do you know what I mean? You have to go take out a bank loan to afford his stuff. Like, he'll get, like, a hoodie and it'd be £80. £80 back in the day could have got me a whole new wardrobe, like, with my taste, do you know what I mean? It's just crazy, isn't it? But, yeah, I thought that my brother wouldn't, like, roll his eyes up at these socks because it's actually kind of a brand. But, like, again, still good within your budget if you set a budget of £30, and that's a great little thing. So, yeah, £5. Just some black trainer socks as well. You can't really go wrong. So, Okay, and then these things are a bit more tailored to my brother in particular. I don't know if, if anyone else's partner, dad or brother or whatever loves these. My brother is obsessed with these like milk straws, <laughs> like milkshake straws. I don't know why, he just does love them. So this is the Strawberry Millions one. So it's like you just literally put it in a glass of milk as you can see and then it changes flavour. And then this is the um, Slush Puppy Blue Raster one, which actually sounds really weird. I don't know why like who in their right mind would drink that but he loves it so yeah i just got him them they're like cute little stocking fillers they're a pound each so yeah i mean you don't obviously that that might be quite weird to like that but like your favorite sweets do you know what i mean b&m actually has really really good sweets and chocolates and everything so it's a great place to go and get little stocking fillers from so yeah i picked up them okay so the next thing i picked up is this little movie quiz card game again a bit random but it's something that no one would ever buy themselves but i feel like it is quite fun to do and I picked the movie one because I feel like everyone can kind of join in on that one and I just thought this is such a, something really nice to do at Christmas or you can do it whenever obviously but I feel like yeah I feel like I would actually really like getting that as a Christmas present because again it's like not something you really want to spend your own money on but it's still something you'd have a lot of fun playing and it was three pounds so again a good little stocking filler so I don't know if I'll give this to anyone or if I'll just keep it and then whip it out at Christmas but yeah, I just thought it was really cute. It says it's got 101 movie trivia questions from your favourite movies. Should I look at a card and see what kind of films it's got? Do you know what I mean? I hope it's got like classic rom-coms on it. Let's just pick out. Okay, I definitely can't give this to someone. <laughs> it's fine. It was for me anyway. Let's pick out a couple of cards, right? Okay, so the first one says, which 2016 animated film partnered a rabbit detective with a red fox con artist to fight crime in the city may obviously i know this one this is my favorite disney film ever if you don't know this get to know it's zootopia obviously it's zootropolis the best disney film ever i talked about this loads in my florida vlogs because this is actually so funny that this one's come up in my florida vlogs i was going on and on about how the only teddy i wanted to buy from disney was judy hopkins from zootropolis and dan was like what what a weirdo because everyone else is getting like the classic mini mickey and then i was there like nah i want judy hopkins so yeah so it's got some classic kind of questions yeah like honestly i feel like they're all kind of classic films that everyone could kind of join in on so that would be so cute to play at christmas and honestly i get so competitive with games like that so for three pounds i feel like that's definitely worth it um and I mean, you can whip this out on date nights and stuff if you get to your boyfriend. I feel like that would be really cute. So yeah, again, not much of the budget gone there, but something really cool and something that they probably wouldn't think to buy themselves. Right, this next one I actually find kind of funny. And again, maybe this is just a my boyfriend kind of thing, but my boyfriend has always, always got like an itchy back or something. So I found this, which looks really weird, but it's basically an extendable back massager. So I just, do you know what? Let's test it out, shall we? Oh god, you need to have a steady hand. I mean, it's not that sturdy, I'm not gonna lie. But, do you know what, when you've just got an itch and you just can't reach it, I feel like this is gonna be, oh, it's got loads of hair on it, <laughs> quick, get it off. I feel like that'd be really, really good. And again, when would you ever think to buy yourself that? Do you know what I mean? Like, especially guys, I feel like guys just, they, 
They don't like going into B&M. If your boyfriend's like my boyfriend, he will do anything he can to get out of going into places like B&M, Home Bargains, Primark, any of those places. It's like they spray boy repellent in those shops because it's actually kind of annoying. But yeah, he would never pick this up himself. So I feel like that's a really, really cute present. And it was £3. So again, a tiny, tiny bit of the budget. Let's see how far it goes. Okay, that's as far as it goes. But do you know what? That is plenty, plenty big enough. But yeah, £3. So not much of the budget. And it's like useful. Do you know what I mean? Like, at least it's like useful. Right. And now onto the last thing. So all of this was under £30, right? I picked up a power bank charger. Now, obviously, for £5, it's not going to be the best one in the world, is it? Like, it's not going to be amazing. And I feel like this is definitely a present that you could, like, invest in. You could go on Amazon or wherever and actually get, like, a really good quality one. And I feel like that is a really good present idea for brothers, boyfriends, anyone really, like, sister, whoever, to be honest. Because what, having one of these is so, so useful but again, it, I feel like it's something that you never really want to spend your own money on. And I feel like to get a, a decent one, you do want to spend a bit more. But the reason I picked up this one is just because I thought, again, it's something you can chuck in. Like my brother, he can chuck in his school bag. My boyfriend can just bring to work with him or gym bag or anything. Like it will work well enough when you just need like a little bit of a boost, you know. And if you're like me and you, you live somewhere where you have power cuts all the time. Again, these are really good to have laying around the house. But yeah, if you wanted to like actually get this as a good present, like a main present, you can easily spend 20, 30 pounds on one to get like a really, really good one with, that has like loads of ports on it, charges really quickly. So yeah, that's definitely, I feel like a really good idea for present if you want to invest in. But also you could just get a cheap one like me and chuck it in a stocking as a little stocking filler because honestly, stuff like that is so useful. And again, something you'd never want to buy yourself and something that men would never think to buy themselves, would they? So look, that was a really, really good little stocking filler. And like I said, five pounds. So not a massive amount of budget. Depends what your budget is, honestly. Like you can get so many good stocking fillers in B&M. Like there was so much stuff. Like if you have kids or younger brothers or boyfriends that love like Xbox, PlayStation, they had like so many, like just like cool things for your room that were to do with Xbox. Like they had loads of like LED lights. I know that my brother last year, the year before was obsessed with having like LED lights all in his room. They had loads and loads of stuff like that. Um, they had lots of like Marvel and Star Wars kind of memorabilia kind of things. Um, yeah, just loads and loads of stuff. But yeah, I wanted to actually get some things that were kind of useful as well, which is why I got the last sort of few bits. But yeah, that is everything. Um, let me know if you if this video does well um, and people like ask for it, then I might do one for a girl. But I honestly feel like a girl will be so, so easy to do this for like. There's so many things in places like B&M and Home Bargains that you can just pick up so many things for a girl. So yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm doing so many uploads this December. I'm obviously, I'm doing weekly vlog messages every Sunday. And I also post every Wednesday, but then every now and then there's gonna be a little surprise upload in there. So you'll have to subscribe or turn on notifications to be notified of when, sorry, I've got a really itchy chin, <laughs> of when I post those videos. So yeah, I'm just posting so much content at the moment. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.